good people how are you my good name is Christabel welcome back to my youtube channel doing life with Chris if you're new here karibu sana don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that every time we upload a new video you are notified and pull a chair because here we learn we create memories we experience life and we grow together as we navigate life for those who've been here time and time again Thank you so much for your support. So today is Utamaduni Day and I am joined by uh, a my small boy here. Uh, not so small. Say hi. Hi. Just hi. Okay, fine. So uh, we are going to do two videos today. The first video will be of me doing a few things in the kitchen. I need to prep for this coming week. So I need to make nuts. Um, I will show you the process, but I have already picked the nuts and I have already washed them and uh, sprinkled a little pause. I can hear my phone ringing. So I have already washed the peanuts and I have already sprinkled some salt on them and I am keeping them aside so that they can soak in the salt. Here is my peanuts which are already washed. I just want to sprinkle some salt on them. I am making my all-time favorite almond bread. If you haven't watched that video, please go back and watch it because this is a guilt-free bread that you can have for breakfast any day, any time. So I also want to prep that for our breakfast because I feel like nowadays our breakfasts are not giving. So I want to prep that. I want to remedy that by making a few things here and there for our breakfast. There's so much lined up for today. But I think the only thing I'm going to show in this video is uh, I like baking my nuts. I like baking my peanuts well, mostly because it's hands-free and it's, it gives me time to do other things as my nuts go in the oven. But if you do not have an oven, you can definitely, definitely make them on the pan. I just prefer baking them because they come out uniformly done and they do not have those black, black marks like for the pan. But even those ones are yummy. I have done them before and they are perfect. So let me turn the video so that you can be able to see what I'll be doing. Probably you'll not be seeing my face, but that's okay. You'll be hearing me talk. Not so much salt. You don't want to salt your peanuts. Wait, come over here. And as you know, we use solar, so I want to take advantage of the sun. It's not so sunny today, which is a bummer because yesterday it was scorching hot. And I keep asking, Yanni, it just takes the days that I am home to not be sunny. That is so unfair. But it's God to work. What can we say? I just want to cut up these almonds so that I can put them on top of my cake. Again, if you have not watched that video, please go back and watch it. But worry not because I am going to also be doing that recipe here. Because as I told you, this is a very guilt-free cake. And I actually do not feel bad making it over and over again for my people for breakfast. And I said, if you do not want this hard work, they are almonds that are sold when they are already slivered. So your job is just to get them and sprinkle them on top of your bake. How much do you get almonds in your place, guys? Because here, a kg goes for 2,300. We are trying to cultivate a reading culture over here. So every month we buy a book. I can't say we are up to date with our reading because I don't think we have read last last month's books. But Melissa, we need to pick up our slack. We need to stop slacking when it comes to reading. But guys, I prefer online reading. I don't know, I have an addiction. And by the way, the first, the first step to recovery is acceptance i have an addiction and my addiction is online books and those things are damn expensive but imagine you guys i there are very many things i sacrifice just so i can read an online book this 
are ready. And I'm happy with them. This is how they look. Right? Okay. So this, my friends, is a 10 ingredients cake, if I can just simplify it like that. Let's go to the ingredients. You need salt, you need sugar, you need flour. And I said in that video that I combined oat flour and all-purpose flour. So that is what I am doing here. This is my oat flour and this is my all-purpose flour. And then I absolutely adore this brand of yogurt. It's called Grace's One Cup. It's vanilla. I hope that it's not going to alter the taste of my bread, whatever. Because I'm supposed to use yogurt, natural yogurt. Then I have oil. I have vanilla extract. If you have almond extract, you're just going to be aligning to the theme, so kindly use it. And then I have a lemon, which I'm going to be using as zest, the zest of this entire lemon. And then I have my two eggs. You can add to three. I just don't like my bake stating tasting so eggy. So I I I reduced my eggs by one. So it's a 10 ingredients cake that you can absolutely make anytime. It just takes 40 minutes to bake and about five minutes to prepare. So let's get into it. And here, yes. And I'm here to help. And Fabian is here to help. And you should always be following a recipe. I am going to be combining uh, my eggs, my yogurt, my oil, and my vanilla extract is the first step. So the first step of our 10 ingredients, almond yogurt bread, is combining oil. I'm going to be using a third cup of oil. So a third cup of oil, ingredient one is done. And then I'm going to be needing a whole cup of yogurt. And then that is done. Then I'm going to be using a teaspoon of my vanilla extract. One teaspoon. The third ingredient is down. And then I am also going to be adding my eggs at this stage. Da -da -dum. And all right, so we are going to beat all that until it smooths. Okay, come over here, please. In the meantime, I'll take a cup of yogurt because you guys have not taken breakfast and it's already noon. Whisk. Whisk. Whisk like you have muscles. Oh, we forgot the baking powder. Pick the baking powder. Oh my god. Okay, I think this is going to be enough for two teaspoons. So, Fabian, you did really well. Clap for yourself. We should have a clap for ourselves in school. <laughs> what style is that? So, to this, I am going, I'm supposed, the recipe calls for half a cup of sugar, but you guys, me, I'm going to minimize my sugar intake. So, I'm just going to use a third of a cup of sugar. Nikki Dogo too, I would have used a quarter of a cup, but well, let me be mindful of the rest of the people that will be eating this cake also. And then the zest of a lemon. And remember, we said the grater is always over whatever you're grating. So it's cheese, it's supposed to be over cheese. If it's lemon, it's supposed to be over the lemon. And no pressure if you do not have this cheese grater, you can always use your kawaii grater, but use the smaller, the smaller side. And you guys, this is a fail-proof recipe. However you mix the ingredients, 
But when you start with your wet ingredients, it's going to come out great. So no pressure. Just know that you mix yogurt, oil, as in all your wet ingredients first, you beat them and then you add the zest of a lemon and sugar. You mix that until it's well combined and then you, you sieve your flour on top of your wet ingredients. Baking powder, two teaspoons, salt, a quarter or a half of a teaspoon, and voila, you just put in your baking tin. Here recipe by the way, I'm under pressure. I am done. So I combine this. And now we are on to our dry ingredients, which we are going to sieve on top. Oh. So two cups. Flat cup. Put it in your strainer and just go like this. And the perfect strainer to use is not the plastic ones, it's this. Uh, what is this called? Stainless steel. So one cup of all-purpose flour and one cup of oat flour for me. If you do not have oat flour, use two cups of all-purpose flour. I am telling you and I repeat again, here recipe, Hainanga pressure. So oat flour is a bit dense when you are sieving it, but it's actually lighter than all-purpose flour. And one of these days, I am going to substitute the all-purpose flour for oat flour because in my head and actually I think scientifically oat flour is healthier than all purpose flour so to this we are going to add 2 teaspoons of baking powder and then I'm going to use half a teaspoon of salt so and ladies and gentlemen we are Remember not to overmix your butter. So once everything is well incorporated, stop mixing. So done and dusted. Now to my baking tin. I'm going to turn on my oven at 180 degrees to preheat for 10 minutes. Brush my pan and remember the reason we brush our pan is so that our parchment paper can stick. And I already told you if you do not have a parchment paper, brush this with oil, dust it with a bit of flour, strain the excess flour and pour your butter in there. Your bread will come out okay. I need to buy, if you sell the silicone type of baking tins, those are the ones I'm looking for. Please hook me up. When I use milk, my butter is usually a bit runny. Uh, you can see the end product of using yogurt, so you choose whether you want to use milk or yogurt. It's up to you, but the product, the outcome is just as good. Now, if you do not have almonds, there's a time I used peanuts to make this cake and it was perfectly okay. Uh, if you do not have either, just leave them out. I just like adding this healthy twist to our breakfast. So I'm just going to sprinkle the nuts on top of our cake. Okay, so that is that. Now, I want to put this cake together with my... You remember this? So I'm just going to pour them here. And I'm going to spread them so that I have one uniform layer. Though I'm going to be checking on them and tossing them around so that the chini, the juice, the chini, just like so. And then they are both going to the oven at 180 degrees. These ones need just 20 minutes. So at the 20 minute mark, I'm going to open the oven and remove my nuts. Uh, the cake will not be affected, and if it will be affected, not so much. Here is the end product of my bakes today. Two bowls of peanuts, roasted peanuts. See what I was telling you? And these are ready. Let me show you. They come out so easily. This is how you know that they are done. And this bread. 
almond yogurt bread gets me every time.